do. No. So. Oh. All right, we are joined by Penn State head coach Micah Shrewsbury, John Hara, along with Jalen Pickett. We'll start with an opening statement from coach, then we'll take questions for the students, then we'll return to questions for coach. Coach. Uh, first off, congratulations to Purdue. Um, just a hard fought game. We knew how tough it'd be. Um, you know, it's, a, it's always like, tough emotional game like for me playing against those guys that you spend so many times so many years with um, but I thought they played great um, our guys man they're they're just some warriors and uh, I love our fight I love how we compete um, the guys that are that are seniors kind of put their blind trust in me and they didn't have to and the way that they fought and the way that they competed all year, man, I'm so proud of these guys. And it's almost a year to the day that I got hired. And um, I did a Zoom call with these guys. John was there, John was on the Zoom, and I told him, like, I can't get on that Zoom call and tell you guys, like, I love you, like, you know, we're gonna do great and all this and that. I was like, I don't even know you. Like, that's fake, that's phony, whatever. Um, but being here for a year and being able to coach this guy next to me, being able to coach Jalen, like what they've done, not just, you know, for, for this week, like the entire season, man. I love these two dudes. I love these two dudes. I'll go to war with them any day of the week. Um, and I appreciate everything they've done for this program. And I told those guys that came, you know, we're, we're, we're going somewhere. Like, this program's going somewhere. And uh, the guys, and maybe their impact wasn't great, all of them. Um, but the people in, that are Penn State supporters are never going to forget those guys' names, ever. And I'll make sure of that because they deserve it because of how they fought, what they did. When the chips were down, every single time they answered the bell and they responded. And uh, I can say it now, man, after a year. I'm going to miss you. I love you, big fella. Love you, coach. All right, we will take questions for the students. We'll start here in the middle with John. John Sauber, Center Daily Times. John, you've told us a lot that you have a lot left to give, that you said you don't want this to be over. Where's your head at right now, and do you feel like you gave it all in your time here? You know, that's the rule of more to give. I still got more to give. I don't know where it is, but I still got more to give. And, you know, I'm so happy with my decision of coming back here and uh, being coached by Coach Shrews. He doesn't know this, but I have a Word document, probably like four pages now, of his whole defense and offensive concepts because I want to keep playing. I love the game. I just have everything that he's done defensively against certain plays, all on a Word document. So wherever I go, um, I'm just going to follow him. I mean, I've been following him all year. I'm stealing his gritty, not pretty saying. I love that. That's carrying with me. And right behind you is going to be a Big Ten championship, Braden Shrewsbury. And guess where I'm going to be? I know Coach always says he wants me to keep playing, but I'm flying out to that game. I'm gonna, I hope it's right here, and I'll be right behind the bench cheering for him. And, I, and that will be one of my, the happiest moments of my life, seeing Penn State win a Big Ten championship. So I'm, I'm happy I came here. I'm happy I got to play with Jalen Pickett, all those dudes, Seth Lundy, Miles Dredd, Sam, and you name them. Um, I'm Penn State forever, and it's been, it's been a lot of fun this year. We'll go to Steve in the back left corner. 
uh, Jalen and John. Three nights in a row, a lot, of resist, a lot of resilience out there. And also, you guys were competitive every night. What gave you the energy to keep coming back and back and back? Because this was a heck of a competitive game. Um, not wanting to go home, playing for our seniors. I think that's something that we all knew we had to do. It's tournament time. And you know the energy we were given each and every night, You know, getting wins, um, really just gave us the motivation to keep playing. Stay in the back left corner. Austin Groff, Penn State Com Radio. John, um, the entirety of Penn State is going to miss you. I mean, the energy you brought was just day in, day out. Um, my question for you, John, uh, what are you going to miss most about Penn State basketball? And what does this team mean to you? I think just the days in the BJC. Like this year, I was trying to eat it all up. I would try to be in the office, in the locker room as much as I can. Um, just like knowing I always had a place to go. Um, being around the, the, my teammates, my staff, uh, that's what I'm going to miss the most. And just all the teammates I've had, like, I just want to thank them from the first day I stepped on campus. Those, those dudes make it special. I'm going to have, like, I hope I have a huge wedding. I have, like, 70 of my teammates. That's the guy I want to be. Like, they mean the world to me and what they gave to me, and hopefully I gave something back to them. Uh, that, but that's what I'm going to miss the most, my teammates and, and my coaches. We'll go to the right side, Kyle. Hey, John, uh, Kyle Babcock, Sportsport Media. Met you a few years ago. Why don't you reflect on how you've grown as a person from that freshman guy just coming in there to right now and, and what it's like to represent Penn State University? I've been so lucky to meet the people I've met in my life. Um, we were at Butler, and there was a saying that I saw that just made me think a lot about my career. And it's like, you're not born a bulldog, you're made a bulldog. And I mean, that's it right there. I've met so many people here at Penn State that I wasn't born like, you know, I just got so lucky and fortunate to be coached by Coach Shrews and everyone else that has been at Penn State to just form me into the man I am today. Um, just really lucky, really fortunate. We'll take a question on Zoom from Mark Brennan. Jalen, you obviously had a huge decision to make uh, when you were deciding uh, where to transfer to. Um, can you just talk about how it's worked out for you taking a chance with a first year coach and have you made a decision or do you have a decision to make on next year? Thank you. Um, yeah, you know, um, I think it was a great decision. Coach Shrewsbury and this year was really special. Uh, the guys were really good. And yeah, I'm coming back next year. All right, last question for the students. We'll go to John in the middle. Jalen, it looked like you were showing a lot of emotion tonight and throughout this week. Uh, you went out for like two minutes basically all week and, and were really invested there from the sideline. Did you feel the gravity of the game tonight? Did, did it feel bigger than other games this year? Uh, definitely. I mean, each game you play in this tournament is a big game. Um, of course, you know, you got to bring the energy and the emotion, and we want everybody on our team to bring our own energy because it felt like it was basically a home game for Purdue with all their fans that we just had, you know, we just had a couple, you know, we're always there for each other on the bench. And, you know, I'm going to give success to my guys and give support whenever I can. All right. Thank you, guys. You can head back to the locker room. Congratulations on a great career, John. All right, for Coach Shrews. Start with John, then we'll go to Brian. Micah, you guys made the big push at the beginning, uh, and then Purdue got back into it. What changed from that standpoint? You know what, that's something that um, I talked about at halftime, right? Probably a rookie mistake by me, because we were moving the basketball, we were in a good flow. Um, and then, like, I forced us to be too stagnant by trying to run more ball screen stuff and get switches and attack, right? We did it. We had success. But then the ball stuck. Um, you see, at the end, when we got down, we went back to playing that way. Now the ball's moving. We were playing at a faster pace. We were getting to the rim a little better. So, um, you know, I got to be better. I got to help those guys be better, continue to play the right way. Um, and we will, you know, it's like – Learning, learning experiences as you go. That's why I'm you know, happy that those guys put their trust in me and help me go through my rookie mistakes a little bit. Brian in the middle left. Black.com, Mike, I'm wondering if you could give us an idea of what you said to Brandon Newman after the game. That, like, that kid, man, 
Um, like I, I spent so much time with him, right, in his red shirt year, um, just being in the gym, working out, just doing a lot of stuff together. Like he was always around. He'd go with me to watch Braden play. Like we spent so much time together in those couple years. And, um, you know, in good times and bad times. And when we played him early, um, you know, I'd talk to him. But then different times throughout the year, I'd just shoot him a text and try and encourage him, keep his head up, right? You, know, you go through tough times all the time. But if you're thinking about those tough times, you're not ready for your moment. You're not ready for your opportunity. Um, you know, he was ready for his moment tonight. So I stopped him in the huddle, and I was like, Man, I was encouraging you all that, and you do that to me. Some friend you are, but I'm, I'm happy for that kid, man. He he earned it. He deserved it. He kept his head up, um, so good for him. All right, we'll go to Kyle on the right-hand side, and then we'll take two Zoom questions. Hey, Mike, uh, Kyle Babcock, Sports Pro Media. Obviously, Indy's home for you. Um, so many people rooting for you that I talked to. What was it like for you to come home and, and be so proud and perform so well in front of the home crowd and so many friends and family? Yeah, it, it, you know, it's it's always fun to, to be back here, right? I, I got to thank, you know, my wife and Nick Colella for handling all the ticket stuff and doing that for me so I could really just focus on our guys and concentrate on that. And um, But just seeing the support, it, it's great to be here. Like, I've grown up coming to this event, coming to this tournament, and now getting a chance to be on the sidelines, like, coaching in this um, like I'm I'm completely like I still pinch myself sometimes right and you look down the sideline and like what coach painter's done at Purdue and the impact that he's had in the Big Ten right and I get a chance to stand on the sideline and try and compete against him like I just want my teams to play as hard as they do I want my teams to play as hard as Michigan State's teams do like that's how you honor the Big Ten and I hope we did that. I hope people that watched this felt that way, that we honored the Big Ten the right way. And we'll be back. We'll be back. We're going to keep playing like this. And, um, you know, so it's great to be here. Uh, we're looking forward to coming back again. On Zoom, we'll go to Andrew Clay. Go ahead, Andrew. Hey, Coach. Um, this could be a really, really sad moment. I know there's a lot of sad, sadness in losing. But there feels like a little bit of almost a celebration of a family and 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 almost love between you and the players. I mean, you guys are all just there. Just seems to be something here. Like, what does that say about what you're able to accomplish in just one season? Um, you're right about that first part about it being a tough moment, right? I wasn't this chipper immediately after the game in the locker room. I it just, you know, I, I'm. I feel bad for our guys. Like they were hurt. They were hurt, man. We we've we lost 17 games. This is a, you know ended up getting to eight. But look at the games that we lost that were close. Like the amount of teams that we played with and fought toe to toe. -to -toe. Um, you know that's the one thing I told those guys is that resiliency that you showed on the basketball court is going to show up for you at some point in time in your life. Um, people counted us out from the moment I got here. And you don't listen to anybody else's expectations but your own. And I felt like those guys, that's how they played. That's how they conducted themselves. That's how they acted. Um, it wasn't anybody else's expectations. It was our own. And no matter what our record looks like, I'm proud of, of what we did, how we fought. When we were down, we, we always came back. Um, so... Like, that's going to carry on for those guys in life. Um, that's going to carry on in this program. That's who I want us to be. And, you know, we'll be back. Like I said, we'll be back again. We'll be back again next year. We might have some new faces, but we're going to have some old faces. And I told them, remember this moment. Remember how it feels right now. Because you have to go through this to get where you want to get. All right, last question for Coach will come from Daniel Gallen on Penn Live. Daniel, go ahead. Hey, Micah, um, what are you kind of looking at in the next few days? Uh, what's next? I know Jalen said that he's going to come back next year. Um, what's kind of the decision timeline for the other guys? And 
if the CVI or something like that comes up, what would be kind of the, the timeline for something like that? I just want to get back to the hotel, crack open the Dr. Pepper, <laughs> take my shoes off, <laughs> chill for a little bit. Like, this season's been a grind, man, the first time through it. And uh, you guys know, first of all, how much, like, how much I love Coach Painter and being around Coach Painter. And, he talks about the end of the season, and I'm taking his motto because when we get home tomorrow, I'm going to put my pajamas on with the feet in them, and I'm going to lay on the couch, and I'm going to watch these games, right? It sucks that we're not playing, but I'm going to watch them, and I'm going to decompress for a little bit, and then I can move on to what's next. We got five guys that are signed with us that we're excited about, um, you know, our class that's coming. We got some decisions that'll be made from some older guys. But um, we got an opportunity to have a bunch of the guys that were playing back again next year. Um, so, you know, continue to work defensively, get better in that area, figure out how to score a few more points, um, enjoy my Dr. Pepper, and cheer for Purdue. All right, thank you, Coach, appreciate it. Thank you, guys. I got one in my bag. <laughs> hey, see ya. Thank you. Great season.